back at Changju, and they're going to process their war. Things that work at their level. This is good. Thanks. Really brief. Raleigh's eyes want more levels of distinction, more color. Peter, don't worry about your presentation. You've done great work. Now get back to your office and produce something more. So with this pen. As long as they keep digging, you keep digging. Colonel Peters gave her a satisfied wink. Just thought that one up, Colonel Peters? Since Chief Reed just once. A week earlier when he showed up unannounced to his office. And at that time, Reed had been wearing his military uniform. Unlike Huang, who rarely seemed to find the time for evening walks around the entire airport if he had any concern about eyes on him that might threaten today's operation. Director Huang Minho still had the nation's ability to control the message to its citizens. But Ri had orchestrated this trip. He'd arranged this to get approval for the travel, and only after a few days of meetings with security men, meetings where General Ri and Director Huang were asked personal questions to vet their commitment to the Soviet state security officials sent along to watch over him, lest he either be kidnapped by the West, or, and through the radio of an airport official, the entire group filed down a back stairwell of the... This was no thrill that he was getting to visit outside his country. This was real fear. He'd lived 54 years hearing stories about the outside world, all of them bad. There was a statue in his hometown showing American G.I.s spearing us should he never return. On board. He had his choice of seats. The plane could accommodate the origin of the flight. Within half an hour, they were back in the air. Huang Min Ho could not believe his eyes when he saw the opulence and grandeur of the lobby. As one of a rare few of his countrymen who had actually seen the inner sanctum of residence number 55, he could say this meant, and not just a government elite or royalty, is in facility as they took an elevator up to the presidential suite. Both smiled at the sight of the man they'd come all this way to meet. Oscar Roblas de Monta cut an impressive figure. 73 diamond mines in Botswana and Sierra Leone. For Korea natural resources trading due to ill health. Wong paused for a moment, unsure, away from the conference table, and stared, stone-faced, back at The rigors of the job, however, are too much for him now, so he will tend to his beautiful gumption necessary, but that they would need an initial investment of hard currency and the support structure of an opportunity he would not want to pass up. Of course, he knew this would involve the rare earth mine, and of course, he was interested it would slip by him. He knew the Chinese had been fighting to keep a partnership going despite Choi's actions. But the Huang had been ready for this. He had the numbers from the tests and the CVs. All of the findings of the Chinese are in the materials here. You may feel free to take your time in looking. The right. He met a Chongju. The following morning, they took off to the north and along. There was little for the big man to do, but see for himself. From next to nothing. Everything from how much water would be brought in to the list of United Nations sanctions that would have to be drawing up of a battle plan of how to facilitate a successful mining operation. Nothing to be acceptable. There would be a huge capital outlay early for the North Koreans, but nothing much for Robles at all. Then Robles would use his own funds to move equipment and personnel into North Korea. This would cost, Robles estimated, well north of $60 million. He'd been told about Choi's demand that production begin in a year and a half, and there's a million dollars. A lot of money, to be sure, especially after his other expenses. But after this, the contractual terms were firmly in Robles' favor. He'd recoup his expenses in under five years, and he'd have so much pure profit after that. His main concern would be on how to rake in with the lives of the common people in North Korea. But he highly doubted this. It would appear to the world, if they found out about it at all, as if North Korea itself had played the world mining industry like a Stradivarius, orchestrating the movement of manpower, brain power, missionness in secret. In the lists and charts and white papers created by his staff about the hardships of bringing this plan to light, nothing appeared as a more obvious problem than the processing of the ore. Roblas and Huang could build the mine and extract mm. the ore, mm. and once the ore mm. was refined, Roblas could assist the North Koreans mm. in getting it onto the world market in a mm. way to maximize its mm. value. Mm. But the mm. highly technical mm. and intelligent...